Welcome to Mary Magdalene, the Apostle Catholic Community, based in San Diego, California, on the land that the Kumeyaay people have tended for generations. Today, we gather from locations all around the world. Know that wherever you are and whoever you are, you are welcome here just as you are. We're glad that you're joining us. For the best worship experience for everyone, we uh, will ask that you remain muted during the service. Despite being muted, we encourage you to sing along at home and to join us in saying the spoken responses marked in bold in the worship aid or on the screen. And now we invite you to quietly center yourself in the presence of the Holy as we begin with our opening song. 
gather tonight to celebrate a special time in the liturgical year. Traditionally, this beginning of Lent, we would mark with the imposition of ashes on our foreheads created from last year's palms. And these ashes serve as a reminder, not of a mark of who is a good Catholic or who has gone to church, but rather as a reminder of our mortality. And as we approach the second year of this pandemic, we are perhaps all too aware of our own mortality. 
of those who we've lost to COVID-19, those who have been killed by police violence, those who have died in our lives who we could not grieve in the way we wanted to. We come together tonight grieving much that has been lost. And we remember that we are made of dust, the very dust the stars themselves are made of, and God will not leave us in the dust. Tonight's Lenten service may look a little different from what you're used to, but in a time when nothing is normal, we have decided to forego the normal, to forego ashes, and to focus on the Lenten themes of transformation and reconciliation. Tonight's service is one of reconciliation, of recalibrating ourselves in the midst of our pandemic exhaustion towards God's call in our lives, of allowing ourselves to return to God if we have strayed, of mending relationships that are in need of mending, of strengthening the bonds that already exist. It is a time to look at ourselves to be honest and ask if we are truly following Jesus' example to serve one another. It is a time to reflect on the wonderful things that we are it is good. Let us take this time we have set aside to pray, to reflect, and give thanks to God. And we begin, as always, with the sign of our faith, in the name of our God, who is speaker, word, and breath. Amen. And may the grace of Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. Spirit of God, who led Jesus into the desert to fast and pray, As we enter this time of Lent, give us her scrutinize our hearts with honesty, give us strength to deal with what we find, give us love to forgive ourselves and each other, so that in peace and joy we may celebrate at Easter the death and resurrection of Jesus and all that it means for each of us. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet day after day, they seek me and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. Why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? Look, you serve your own interest on your fast day and oppress all your workers. Look, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to strike with a wicked fist. Such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose a day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to our God? Is not this the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn 
and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of God shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and God will answer. You shall cry for help and God will say, here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. Our God will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundation of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. of the nations know what is right, or are their hearts set on power and fame? Do we look to the everlasting one, the heart of all hearts? In whom do we put our trust? Transform. Astray, following idols of illusion, erring in blindness and speaking lies full of conceit. As the hunt with sweet bait lures the deer with intent to kill, the arrogant feed on those who are vulnerable and trusting. Transform our fears with love, with love. Wake us to the oneness of all. O Holy One, creator of the galaxies, open our eyes. Draw back the curtain of ignorance and break through the walls of fear. Let us be in the divine moment, living as children with trust and joy. Let us awaken to our birthright, free to choose the creative path, moving in harmony with the planetary song. Awaken us to the interconnectedness of all beings, to all that fly and swim, to all that walk and crawl upon the earth. Transform our fears with love, with love. Wake us to the oneness of all. Those who know love will rejoice as the nations learn to cooperate, as the peoples of earth recover their true heritage. People will say, the time has come to choose peace and integrity, to journey together with one another and God, to journey with the heart of the universe. Transform our fears with love, with love. 
Our God is with you. And also with you. A reading from the Gospel attributed to Matthew. Glory to you, O Christ. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you. Every word be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you, my loving God in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Then Peter came and said to him, Teacher, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. The Gospel of God. Praise to you, Jesus the Christ. Now we take a moment to collectively examine our lives, reflecting on those times when we have not lived as God calls us to. Blessed are the poor in spirit, 
Theirs is the kingdom of God. Forgive us for becoming too attached to all the things we possess, for holding tightly to our own views and ideas. Blessed are the gentle. They shall have the earth for their inheritance. Forgive us our lack of understanding, our failure to recognize and respect the economic, social, and political rights of others. Blessed are those who know what sorrow means. They will be given comfort and courage. Forgive our lack of care and compassion for those who are vulnerable in our families, <clears throat> communities, and the global human family. Forgive our lack of care and compassion for Mother Earth. <clears throat> Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice. They will be satisfied. Forgive the times we have chosen not to see the injustice around us. Forgive our participation in the unbalanced consumption of world resources that leads to war among nations and the destruction of our planet. Blessed are the merciful. They will have mercy shown them. Forgive us for not seeking the inner healing that leads to forgiveness of others and of ourselves. Blessed are those who are pure in heart. They shall see God. Forgive us the times we have been hypocritical or dishonest, failing to cooperate with the spirit in our lives. Blessed are those who make peace. They will be known as daughters and sons of God. Forgive us our quarrels and disputes, our refusal to walk the path of peace. Blessed are those who suffer persecution because they live the desire of God's heart. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Forgive our silence when injustice, poverty, and war require voices of protest and courageous action. Transform our fears with love. Awaken us to the oneness of all. season of fasting, we take this opportunity to move away from talking about feasting and fasting simply in terms of food and reflect on other opportunities for fasting in our
lives. Let us pass from judging others and feast on the Christ within. Let us fast from emphasizing differences and feast on the oneness of all life. Let us fast from discontent and feast on gratitude. Let us fast from unjust anger and feast on compassion and patience. Let us fast from fear and anxiety and feast on trust. Let us fast from all that we cannot change and feast on commitment to change what we can in ourselves and our world. Transform our fears with love. Awaken us to the oneness of all. And now we invite you to join us in taking three minutes in silent prayer marked by the singing bowl.
O God of life, we confess the ways we turn away from the fullness of life that you offer. God of love, we confess the hatred we hold in our hearts. God of compassion, we confess our indifference. God of justice, we confess that our lives are linked to an oppressive system. God of peace, we confess the violent heart We bring our burdens to you, O Christ, who bears a heavy load for us. We place upon you our excuses, our shortcomings, our anger, and our desire, knowing that you can restore us to life. We confess that we have gone astray. We confess that we have not loved you fully and have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We confess that we have not fully loved even our very selves. Forgive us of our sins. Help us to turn back to you. Restore what has been broken. Transform what has been twisted. Find what has been lost. So that we may be the living, loving image of you in creation. Gracious slow to anger and abounding in love. We turn to our God in the confidence that through Jesus the Christ, our sins are forgiven. Breathe us into our humanity, loving God, that we may fully live. And now we invite you to mark the sign of the cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart with each of the parts of this next prayer. Spirit into our brains that our speech may breathe your spirit on our hearts, O oh God, that we may love you above all else. Through Jesus Christ, our liberator. Amen.
the centuries, the prayer of Jesus, often known as our Father, has been translated and rendered in many different ways. Tonight we use a version from the queer ministry at inflesh.com. With confidence in the love of our God, we are bold to say, loving creator of us all, who dwells within and beyond, sacred is your name. May your holy vision for collective flourishing come to fruition among us. May your dreams of justice, love, compassion, and connection be enfleshed on earth. Provide us today with what we need to be nourished in body, soul, and heart. Forgive us for the harm we cause as we seek to forgive those who have harmed us. Lead us away from everything that destroys and liberate us from the hands of evil. For you are the ultimate source of hope. Your power with exceeds all power over. Your presence incites eternal wonder. All praise to you, our comfort and strength. Amen. We invite you now to extend your hands to both give and receive. God create in each of us a seeks and loves the justice and compassion of our God. Transform our fears with love. Awaken us to the oneness of all. Let us go in the peace of Christ.
Agnes for our service tonight. And we have service every Sunday at 5 p.m.